Hello Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. Let's take a look and see what's manifesting for you this month. Everything you need to know, any messages, advice, what's showing up around you as well. This could be someone on your mind, if any. As always, practice using your discernment. Take what serves you and leave out the rest. Practice using it. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on all social media, TikTok, Instagram. I am Spiritually Goldie on all platforms. If you are interested in a personal reading done by myself, I will leave all of that information in the description box below for you all with the link to my website, spirituallyglow.com, for you to view all of the different options for readings. Okay. So, the first card that I was seeing, it was a tower, and it feels like a major reset, okay? You're, some part of your life maybe has kind of turned upside down, and... It's making way for life, for life to just be easier for you, okay? So moving forward, it's like you are in a transition of coming out of um, a really tough or chaotic situation, all right? So this is showing me that whatever situation you're in, moving forward is leading you towards a new destination and it is leading you towards um more peace okay you're headed towards more peace so after the five of swords we're moving to the six of swords so overall you may be trying to move on from a situation that didn't end well what is this five of swords about okay three of swords reversed okay i'm hearing gossip gossip rumors Someone could have spread gossip. There could have been rumors about a situation. I'm seeing there could have been like a third party, three people involved. But it looks like you're at this place now where you have clarity. You now have clarity as to who's for you, who's not for you, who's right for you, and what's not right for you okay you're in a place of healing the heart okay healing through any chaos and with all these butterflies you may be seeing butterflies but i i'm picking this up as being uh like butterflies are a uh, an indication of transformations um going from a cocoon into or caterpillar into a cocoon and into a butterfly so you overall transforming, um, becoming above over all of this, okay? Your courage, your courage getting stronger because you are in a place where you're healing so deeply within you that it is showing up externally to you as well, okay? Tell me about this four of wands reversed. Um, it feels like it feels like you're at this place right now where none of this is really a surprise to you. With the high priestess, I feel like you're all of this is not really. It's like disappointing. But at the same time, not really a surprise to you. And with this with this high priestess in your energy, it feels like you're getting some sort of download or information that is giving you the clarity that you are moving towards uh, a more secure place. Okay, whatever what was happening right now just wasn't it wasn't secure. Something was built on a on a shaky foundation here, right? And there was too much of something. So you are, take this as a sign that 
you're now moving towards your wish fulfillment. It can only get better from here. And even if it begins with you just focusing on you and focusing on your own fulfillment, finding that fulfillment within yourself, doing the things that you love, focusing on the things that you care about, finding alignment and balance within yourself, getting back on the path to happiness here. Okay, there's a very nurturing, loving energy around you with this empress. This is the empress will like bring something back to life here. Um, this could be a mother figure. This could be just someone who is uh, a nurturer coming into your life this month who is in a way, yeah, helping you heal or assisting you, supporting you. Okay. So a message. There is a message. So page of wands. Pages always come with messages. And it does feel exciting. It does feel like there's there's good news. What is this message about? Coming from this page. Okay. Ooh. Things coming to light. This feels like like some sort of justice is coming in throughout all of this where Someone, someone um, is not getting away with something here, okay? It is not over. Something that you may have felt or thought was over um, with this Seven of Swords, someone may have like uh, taken something from you, whether that be financially, energetically, emotionally. Someone manipulate a situation, but I'm seeing things coming to light, which is why there's healing, healing through the chaos, walking through the grief. Um, but also it's like that. It's like not all hope is lost. Okay. If you have someone in mind, think of them. Let's take a look and see how they feel about you this month, um, the situation with you this month, Scorpio. Okay. So they're not really confident here. They're not feeling totally confident in their abilities to <laughs> um, win you over or to in, in their abilities to like show you um, attention or some sort of support they're not feeling very confident um could be the reason because they're seeing you as like you're just no longer fighting um you're just like not trying anymore yeah five of wands reverse it's like you you're done trying at this point you're done trying you're not willing to try anymore there's too much drama there's too much um fighting it's like you're just you're just done trying <laughs> but Empress Ace of Wands. It feels like they're still trying. Whoever this person is, they're still trying to like create some sort of spark with you, intimacy with you. Um, their intentions is to to nurture this with, through their actions. I mean, Wands is very much like action based, so there is some sort of action coming. To, um, where they're, they're trying to lead this towards a successful outcome here with you. It feels like they are trying to, like, in a way, win you over. For some, there could be a lot of, like, competition. And they don't feel like their chances are that high, but they're still trying. All right. So... the end of the end of a shaky foundation right it's and it's the beginning of a new a fresh start a new dawn it's always darkest before dawn and you can see the like the dawn is like peeking through right take this as a sign that there's there's still there is good coming okay 
there is good coming. Okay. And it does feel like a lot of what is headed your way is hidden from you and you're going to have to go within and really do some soul searching or you're at this place right now where you're doing some deep soul searching on what you want to invite into your life. I'm hearing invite specifically, like what are you willing to invite now into your life now that you have this fresh start, okay? Um, with this devil over here, it's a, it's a sign to be very mindful of what you're inviting in. Um, whether you're inviting things that are coming from a place of attachment or coming from a place of um, connection or purpose. Okay. What comes after this? Okay. You're taking a new approach. You're taking a new approach. And you, what comes after this is you're taking your power back and leaving behind the mess of of someone I first see it for some for some reason I'm hearing leadership for someone's like um failed leadership in a situation and like like I said after the eight of cups is the nine of cups we did see that earlier which is you walking towards a more fulfilling place and this is all just a season it is not your life is there anything else that Scorpio needs to know taking risks they want you to take more risks here. Take more risk towards adventures. You have adventures coming in. And I feel like that can be also very healing. I'm seeing the numbers 5, 4, 10, 15. Uh, those numbers could be uh, birthdays, special day synchronicities. I'm seeing the letters F, E, C, H, T, E why those letters can be in your name or someone else's name but with that said this is what i'm seeing if it did resonate let me know and if you made it this far in the video thank you so much for watching i hope you all have an amazing and blessed rest of your day bye